Hi, welcome back to the morning wrap. And if you're looking for something to do this week, we might have the answer for you. Lucha Vavum is returning to the Mayan Theater in downtown LA. This is happening May 5th and 6th for their Cinco de Mayan show. So I'm joined by two wrestlers from the hit show, Magno and Jack Cartwheel. Let's go. Look at you guys. Let's this go. is great. Okay, so I have to hit the gym now that I'm sitting next to you. Oh, <laughs> I, need to, I need to work on my biceps. Um, but I've been to the Mayan. It's a beautiful place. It's so fun. And we want to know more about this event. It's an amazing event, amazing show. It's actually going to be the fourth and fifth. Let me get you on that. Fourth and oh, fifth. Oh, fourth and fifth. I'm fifth so sorry. is going to be called, instead of mine, it's called Cinco de Magno. Okay? Mm. Cinco de Magno. Just mm. to... Are you just saying that or is it true? It's the truth because I said so. Okay. I just get it's an amazing show actually. But were the dates that you just said right? Yes, fourth okay, and fifth of May. Fourth and fifth. Uh, great uh, atmosphere, great show. You get burlesque dancers, you get awesome wrestlers, and obviously you get Magno, top of the top. <laughs> Let's talk about you. Yeah, there, there's there's <laughs> nothing there's, <laughs> I mean, there's enough Magno's about Magno, with, enough, with enough about this style. egomaniac <laughs> trying to take over. Um, no, it, Lucha Vavum, it's one of the coolest events that you you could find in LA. There's there's pro wrestlers, there's burlesque dancers, there, there's cool drinks, there there's lights. It's everything that you you would want on a night out. We have a Thursday tomorrow and a Friday night, the fourth and fifth. Uh, yeah, it, it'll be a great time. So tell me a little bit about what you guys do. How do you guys prepare for events? How do you prepare to get inside the ring? Tell me more about all that. Well, it's a, it's a career. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, it's a career. Like, you had a career. Doctors have a career. To start a wrestling career, you've got to go to a trainer. You've got to start training first. And then, obviously, the more, the more uh, the topper you get or the higher you get in your career, you start doing different types of show, like Lucha Vavum is a big show, mm -hmm. not because uh, it's just here in LA, but it's gone to New York, Australia, Japan, different places too. And we get the top of the line wrestlers, like we get XWWE, we get CMLO guys, we get AAA guys, we get him, he's been, I mean, doing top of the top of the top shows right now, he's AEW and stuff like that. And like I said, professionals, burlesque dancers, professional wrestlers, you go to the gym, you study, you watch videos, you do wrestling, you do tumbling, you do a <laughs> lot of stuff. And just to come here and then give it all your best because mm -hmm. Lucha Vavum is special because it's a smaller ring mm -hmm. and the audience is 21 and older in the audience. It's not for a family event. Mm -hmm. Even though wrestling is for a family event, uh, Lucha Vavum Dirty is not. Dirty Sanchez. 21 is and older, <laughs> yes. Is a wrestler you will see tomorrow. There's a guy named Dirty Sanchez. This I'm sorry. Is good to know in advance. <laughs> Family show here. Okay, sorry. let's talk about the new Las Vegas residency. It was just announced. What are the details? Yes, we're actually going to Vegas uh, July 28th and 29th. Okay. We're going to start the residency there. And then we go back in October. I think it's going to be 27th and 28th or some, somewhere around there. Mm -hmm. But yes, we're actually going to do LA in Vegas now, which is great, great for us. A lot of work for us as well, too. And the company is getting bigger and bigger every time. What was it like hearing that, hey, you're going to have this residency in Vegas? Were you just super excited or? Yes. Like yeah. I said, it's like a, <laughs> like it's, it's a career like everyone just pursues, right? And then the more you get, the more, I guess, uh, I, I can't explain it because I, my main language is Spanish. <laughs> but I mean, the more exposure you get, mm -hmm. the more audience you get, it's obviously, it's, it, you get more compensated every time too. You get excited, you do more, more crazy stuff. Like this guy is one of the, those guys that do, does a lot of crazy stuff as well. Yeah, I, I, as far as uh, indie wrestling goes, it, it's, it's hard to kind of uh, understand where people are and, and there's just so much going on. There's so many different like rankings of it. For us to be, to have a residency at, at, in Las Vegas in the House of Blues, so yes. cool and, and like it's opportunities that indie wrestlers who aren't in the big fed the big wwe like who don't get to the opportunity to be able to wrestle in front of such a cool crowd and such a cool environment so just being at this level that, that we're getting to is uh really significant and it's really cool to just have a fun time going having a good match and uh hopefully trying to win this is great well i love it that you guys are here um we're gonna do more wrestling 101 tips with you guys coming up in just a second i'm pumped up i am pumped up for this, okay? Oh, you better you be can... pumped up for me, not for this. <laughs> for me. <laughs> Sorry, well, let me keep my comment to myself. You can find more information, totally kidding. You can find more information about this on our website, kcalnews.com slash the morning wrap. And so stick around.